Welcome back here uh, to the corner. It's been a while. This is the third episode, and I'm your host, Patrick, as usual. And we have my close friend, Victor, as uh, our guest here today. Um, say hi, Victor. Hi. Hi. <coughs> so what were, you, what were you saying, that, like, that you thought the weed was legal in Scandinavia? No, you said it was legal somewhere. No, I said that it's been it's legal in a bunch of states in the in the U.S. and um, it's becoming legal in uh, in in Luxembourg. Yeah, but it's not legal near you. I mean, don't. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I would call it near me because you know it's like eight hours to drive from uh, Denmark to Luxembourg, and it's even more to drive to uh, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, because that's like an hour or two more, I think. Yeah. Yeah. At least. Isn't it still back home? What? What are you saying? Isn't it legal back home? In Norway? And uh, no, weed is not legal in Norway either. There's like some diff- different part, gov- uh, political parties that is like trying to make something happen, like spe- spe- especially yeah, like it's not the- legal anywhere in the country. Right no, now. no, it's not legal anywhere in Norway, anywhere in Sweden, anywhere in Denmark, any of the Scandinavian countries. Like the only place per se weed is legal is the Netherlands in Amsterdam, and it is decriminalized in Portugal. But that doesn't mean that it's that it's legal. Like you don't uh, you don't find any like coffee shops or stuff like that in Portugal. Because what it means that they have decriminalized it is that you can't be you can't be punished for for using it, right? But you can be punished for selling it. So that's kind of what it means, you know. Uh, so yeah, so from from 2020, then Luxembourg will be the next country in uh, the second country in Europe to legalize legalize it. That's uh, that's how it is. Hold on a little bit. Um, yeah. So uh, so what I was saying, Victor, was that uh, uh, that yeah, like per se, then then uh, the Netherlands is the only country in in Europe where weed is is hundred percent legal. I mean, a lot closer here. Yeah, but. You know, I kind of, I kind of, I kind, I kind of love America, man. It's it's a great place. Yeah, you have the better. Yeah, and I tell you, man, yeah. if I if I were an American living there, earning an okay paycheck, better. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but yeah, Canada, First America, all, whatever. Not enough of a douchebag to be a real American. Well, think about it, man. Doesn't it sound better to say, "I'm a goddamn American." No, it then, doesn't. Then to say, I am a ga- goddamn Canadian. <laughs> I think it sounds better to be Canadian because it would imply that you're not a shit asshole. It also imply that you probably know more than one language. Oh, uh, it would. <laughs> yeah. What about, uh, what about, by the way, did you see the Breaking Bad movie yet? No. Okay, anyways, what about the last frontier? State of Alaska. Yeah, that's Alaska. What What about that? What about Alaska? That, that last frontier that uh, that most. Yeah, the last frontier. That's that's what the that's what the name of the state is, right? Or under on the uh, on the license plates, you know. Like there was no front. There's been no frontier for well over like. Years now. Yeah, but it's still a cool freaking name, man. It just like it says on the on the New York, yeah. like like it says on the New York license plates. It says, uh, what does it say? The Empire State. How badass is that, huh? Not at all. It is really, really badass. It's a fucking building. Nah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> it's called the Empire. Not even it a was. Small building. It was called. The, it was. Anymore. It was called the Empire State, man. The Empire State. You know? Uh, That's just your fetish song. 
my fetish. What the hell, man? Uh, yeah, 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 I don't know, man. But I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if you just have yeah. like the weirdest sex with your wife. You dress up in like American flags, or you just have at it while waving the American flag and saying some <laughs> fucking nonsensical <laughs> shit like, oh, oh. America. <laughs> Something else kind of really stupid. Well, no, I, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't dream of doing anything like that. You know, I, you know, um, like I discussed with you previously, was that uh, America is a great country. Like th this is my conclusion of that. I think America is a great country. It used to be a great. Country. Now, uh, yeah, it used to be a great country. Like, but today it is a great country. If you are rich, right? Uh, but if you're poor, it is probably like the Not worst. Even, no. Nah, I disagree, man. Because like, if you're rich in America, you can um, boy taxes. No, no, you still have like more purchasing power than if you are rich, uh, say anywhere in Western Europe. Uh, like I would say, like. Ten million dollars in America gets you a hell of a lot more than what ten million dollars gets you in Western Europe. That's uh, that's what I think, you know. And also because you have so much great land, land that's not even used, land that's not even touched, right? So, yeah, I, I would say that America is a great place to live if you if you got money, um, and you are yeah. if you are self-employed. And you got money, then it's probably like a great place to live. But if you don't have it, and you're in the middle class or any lower than the middle class, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but America is number one in nothing, literally nothing good. Not, America's only number one for the worst out of all developed. One of them is, well, I forget what it's called, but the lowest. Uh, social class like movement like it's harder to go up in class and then like anywhere in any other developed or even some of the lesser developed guns really fucking stupid yeah well i i feel like there is a bunch that explains this because like for the first you had the distribution of wealth in america which is kind of messed up when you have like a one percent of uh, the top one percent uh, of america controlling like 90 percent of the money or something right and uh, and then and then it is like you know the constant hustle in america because you're don't mistake me man like the hustle in america is greater than in anywhere else in the world because in america unless you succeed you ain't shit, right? And you gotta like keep pushing, you gotta keep pushing, you gotta open your own business and be successful at that. Because if you don't do that, then you are looking at the, then you're looking at a very, very dark future regarding that you're going to be in the middle class, you're gonna be earning less than $50,000 a year, you're gonna have a family, you're going to struggle uh, with like paying your HMO insurances for your family. You're going to struggle when your kids are going to college because then you also need money to send them to college, right? Um, and yeah, this just, this, I, I think that this just creates like an unhealthy stress level for the average American, you know? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it creates an unhealthy stress level for, for the average American, and it's like probably part of the cause uh, to why you have so damn many mass shootings in America, or, you know, um, former ex-employers going to their work, uh, or uh, to the workplace uh, with an AR-15 shooting things up. Well, what do you think about the cause? Victor? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, what, what do you think is the cause to why there is so many mass shootings in America? Multiple reasons. Like. 
starters. That cult awful. I I oh the Sweden or it's against the law to not have a gun. It's against the law not to have a gun. What was it? I think it was Sweden. What was it that other country? Uh, was that one country with uh, Europe without the standing army, but everyone is technically a militia? Uh, that's that... that's Switzerland. Oh yeah. Why the? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, it's because they both start with an S for both, like, but... Well, yeah, it is uh, pretty much... Uh, yeah, but, yeah. like, that's a good example of, like, you know, a lot of guns among the people, yet there's never any shooting there. Nah, but... Just... again, the shooting thing is a fucking joke. It's a fucking bullshit joke. If I went out and I killed, like, a hundred people without using a gun... You probably wouldn't outside help powerless people outside of the state wouldn't fucking know about it. But you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. But uh, yeah, yeah, man, it's it's just like mental mental issues uh due to causes of stress and stuff. It's it's also the fact that uh, America has the largest concentration of uh, paranoid schizophrenics in the world. Do you know that? That that you have that many uh, schizos running around and no, well, we also have uh, Amer like like I was saying, like even if I went out and stabbed a bunch. Of well, if I went out and probably just shot like had maybe a few people on my street. Yeah, that's or what you. Would, that's what you would. <laughs> that's what you would do. You would shoot a few people on the street if you went nuts. God damn. God damn, man. Uh, yeah, if I just shot a few people and be just like everybody was fucking. But you know, I went out and just stabbed a few people. You would never hear about it. Why? Because there's no political thing. Nice. I don't know, no, that's... Uh... And if you look at the stats, like, you already know this, fucking... No, like, what's what stats? What stats? Like, the, for fucking, like, the gun, like, murders, homicide, like, stats a goddamn fucking joke. Like, anything kills more than guns. Name it. It's probably more... There's more murders with anything than their guns. Well, that's true, but like you, you guys still have like 15, 14, 15 thousand uh, murders, murders a year. America just has a lot of violence. <laughs> yeah, you generally have a lot of violence, and this is due to the stress, which is probably like why no, more states, just... more states should legalize weed and more people should no, use I'm it. Not, that would never ever help. That's 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 what that, that would be the solution be because you know to medicate the american population to be less stressed out i think so i think so no. i mean look at every country that <laughs> look at jamaica i mean you like clearly, as much as you like america you clearly don't recognize culture american culture is inherently negative if you went up to the street and you started talking some racist things about you know sand niggers or whatever how how many people over in Norway or whatever would be like, yeah, we should just bomb the fucking... How many people would have to say that offhanded? Pro probably nobody. <laughs> nobody would say that offhanded. Even like nice people say like, oh yeah, we should intervene or like you have like the people that'd be like, oh, we should have nothing to do with that. So we yeah, buy, like... yeah, that would be that would be the majority's answer in Norway that we should have nothing to do with it because this is not what we want to spend our fucking tax money on. And when I was in the military, like, oh man, so many people they'd be like, oh yeah, we should bomb. Well, I mean, don't don't they ever think about you know the hit that a war takes on a country? You know the economic hit. That it takes to go to war, it's 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 enormous. War yeah, is America's in debt. America's been at war for ninety, well, over ninety percent of its lifetime. America's been always, always at fucking. America's fought more wars than some European countries have. 
Yeah, that's true. You're like meddled in like every war there has almost ever been. And I I really don't get the, the politics behind that because like I said, like it takes such an enormous hit on your economy and it's probably part of the reason why America is in such so much debt right now. I mean, what, what do you guys owe? Like 14, 15 trillion dollars or so? It's a hell of a lot of money to owe some, uh, somebody. Oh, yeah. But did you ever meet somebody when you were serving in the Navy um, that had a deeper understanding of how America works? You know, how politics works and how the general oh, machinery. Yeah, and, and, and what did they say about, about it? I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while. But they had... The vast majority of people's reaction like bombs, you know, particularly American. I mean, uh, American. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would say, like, you know, if you say bomb the shit off, uh, out of them, then you don't understand the consequences of that. Or like, like, for example, when people say video games cause violence, they don't, but they help perpetrate it. Yeah, they, they help. The thing I find to be the, the entire video games, shit's so fucking, so fucking, so stupid. Like, before video games, there was, like, rock causes violence, and before that, it was, like, causes violence, or rap causes violence, drugs cause violence, there's always something causing violence. Instead of just, like, oh, we, we have problems, you know, 60 fucking years later, nothing. Like, you know what causes violence, man? Religion. I oh, think, yeah. I think that's, that's like, probably... a big problem. Yeah, that's probably, like, the the, the religion that causes the most violence. Uh, like I've said before, yeah. Christianity has killed more than all the other religions combined. Yeah, yeah we have, like... The most violent think, religion in the world. Think about the, think about the freaking Crusades. I mean, like, how many people were murdered due to the Crusades? No, the Crusades are just small time. Yeah, but... but even during peacetime, Christianity causes problems. Yeah. No other religion, even Muslims extremists, don't run around trying to encourage people. Fucking Muslim. Only Christians run around and be like, you should be Christian. If you're not Christian, you're going to hell. Hell is... Extremely exaggerated, like laughably exaggerated shithole torture. You're made by God, but He still loves you. If you don't love Him, but He'll make a special place where you get tortured for all eternity if you don't reciprocate love. Imaginary thing that doesn't exist. Like you have to go back and ask, like, what? No other religion has people fucking running around trying to spread like Christianity does. No, and you still do that. You still do that today, especially in America. <laughs> I mean, like, I uh, I turned on, you know, the radio and like browsed through radio channels in Kentucky, and it was like 80% Christian radio channels. And the first one I clicked was, was called Sending Out the Truth. And uh, some guy preaching, saying, you know, let me tell you about the miracle that happened to this family today, y'all. Well, the big problem with religion is only stupid people do it. A lot of stupid people. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, why, why do you... Why did this happen? Um, science, he has this, and... This occurred to cause this to occur, or that's too complicated. Lots simply to be like God's fault. I mean, it's more believable to believe that there's gonna come some great alien mothership to Earth one day and save us all from damnation than it is to believe in a imaginary friend, right? In the Bible. Yep. It's pretty crazy, and uh, you know, I, I think like how many, there's a large concentration of America that is Christian, like very Christian, going to church every Sunday. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's an entire thing why there's a thing called the Bible Belt. So stupid. The Bible Belt, what's that? It's like the Midwest, uh, like the, the line in 
the U.S. It's called the Bible Belt. And this is where, you know, the most Christian of the Christian people in America live in the Bible Belt. God damn. God damn, Wait, man. Have you heard of that? The Bible Belt? I, I think I, like, read about it, but I've, I've never known, like, specifically where it was. Look it up. Yeah, I will. I will look it up. Um, yeah. And what else have you been doing today, Victor? I'm just trying to play the shit out of this game before the reboosts. What game are you playing? I'm Joker. Wow. Tell us about it. Not really. Not really interested okay. in telling us about it. No, it's yeah. not. Like... Yeah. Say about it. Yeah. All right. That's fair enough, I guess. Uh. Okay, man. Apparently, the Bible Belt today uh, is is Mississippi, Utah, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, South Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, and Oklahoma. That's pretty crazy. Uh, and apparently, it's an informal region in the southern United States in which socially conservative um, hang on uh, I'm just reading out of Wikipedia the Bible Belt is an informal region in the southern United States in which socially conservative ev evangelical protest pro protestantism plays a strong role in society and politics and Christian church attendance across the denominations is generally higher than the nation's average. God damn, man. And all that was only, apparently that was only the top 10 of the Bible Belt that I read, but it's apparently also Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and West Virginia. God damn, man. Like, all these states uh, filled, with, uh, filled with Christian fanatics. Yeah, more on. Yeah. I have psychosis. It's, it's such a load of bullshit hypocrisy. It's like, oh, my name is fucking something i believe in oh no. can you can you... flying elephant his name is john oh you're crazy oh i have a best friend oh praise him. he's religious can you, can you can you tell me the difference you know between a sect leader and a preacher because I, I have the feeling that both of them are very similar in the aspect that they are able to convince people to believe in a faith, right? Cult leader, priest, literal exact fucking thing. What? Thing. Say, say that again, you were cutting a little bit out for me. Like, I, I'm not sure about any of you, but I think I, I, I explained this to other people before. It's a little too complicated, I don't want to get into, but the... the Simply in a nutshell, no matter how wrong something is, if enough people do it, a okay. If enough people say it is, they're right. You're wrong. Yeah, that has been like the general. Uh... Uh, extreme example is go back in time and say the Earth is not flat. Everybody says it's flat. They're right. They're wrong. Yeah, that's right. And they killed. Didn't they kill Galileo Galilei for it? I think they did. I think they killed him for saying that the world was uh, was round. I'm gonna check that right now. You know, you know that, right? Yeah, the church. They did. The church back then in the day really didn't like. No, no, nah, nah, yeah, they, they didn't. Church. Kind of similar to what people do now, like, you know, 
distract them, so they don't notice fucking them over. Yeah. Um. Nah, it doesn't look like he was killed because he lived till he was 77. Uh, yeah, I need to look that up later. Ah, oh, I know the church did a bunch of. Yeah. Yeah, but that's true. Like the world believed for a long time that the world was flat, and that's. Uh, but that's that's how that's how uh, that's how uh, humans humans are, man. I uh, did read something today from Bloomberg that uh, that was the perfect response to to all of this. Let me see if I could find it, because it was it was um, regarding risk management in the financial crisis, and he had you know said that they should do something in the hedge fund, and they hadn't listened to him, right? And that is, and then he says, you know, that uh, individually, we very m might well be geniuses, right? People get dumb when they're in group for multiple reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was uh, it was during the crisis, right? Uh, Miller, this is from Bloomberg, Miller told this crisis era story, he presented the idea of buying junk bonds in December 2009 to a large firm's investment committee. At the time, the bonds were trading at 22 cents on the dollar, but the idea was rejected by the committee as too risky. Five years later, the fund bought these sa very same bonds at a much higher price and at a much greater risk. Miller was not involved in that transaction, and these errors led this led uh, led uh, Asnes to observe and says you can have a committee of ten geniuses that proves collectively to be a moron. And I think that sums up. Uh, I think that sums up humanity very well, man. Because if we are together in a flock, then it's easy to think. You know, well, there's multiple reasons, uh, particularly in how people are trying to think together. Ideally, people are smart in a group, but people don't work how they're supposed to. Emotions take play, self benefits the lack, you know, for the greater good or greater, you know, you know, need of the company or whatever they're part of. Self motivation, they override stuff. Or when somebody is, you know, more popular, or somebody is more timid, they have better idea. You know, against their seen popular guy or what? Yeah, well, well, that's uh, that's true, but I, I also like think that it is because you know, collectively in a group, then it's easy to think that uh, you don't have to put in as much work as you would otherwise because you know you have other people to lean on and you make the mistake of affording yourself to be lazy because uh, it is just easier to just agreeing with the next guy in the group right and altogether you uh, altogether you make you make a collectively bad decision i'm guessing i'm guessing that's why leadership in the military is done by one man right like when you're out on a mission then it's then it's one fire team leader one squad leader, uh, etc. Right, that have the, that has controls of what's happening. Position. What? Matter of position. Yeah. What? You're cutting out a little bit on your microphone but, there. But there's also a matter of efficiency and cutting down on time. Yeah, yeah. It's also the matter of efficiency cutting down on time, but still, if you're like give give uh, giving ten people the same leadership task. In the room or to produce something right then i don't know it's not sure that you're going to get the same result as if it was one of the geniuses in the room that was going to produce the, the same thing and had longer time the result very might well be in uh, individually better um all well, the time like time is a big important thing yeah time is yeah. 
two groups fighting against each other. One, you know, delayed. Yeah. By leadership, they can't react quicker. All the other ones are more fluid. Yeah, you always you always have wheels, uh, you know, sticks that is going to be jammed into your wheels. But um, it's it's all it's it's all a fine balance, I think, too, to to make it work. Um, like a Israel versus uh, what like Israel's leadership is a lot more fluid. Like people on the ground can make decisions country they were fighting couldn't they had to wait for orders from above that made like a play yeah well if not anything israel is is an effective country i think you know uh those guys they for they for for those guys the weekend starts um at the end of first day then uh, they they have weekend in Israel, but then their work week starts on Sunday again. Kind of weird, like that, you know. Anyways, uh, Victor, I'm going to cut it here. We're coming up on about uh, 32 minutes. Just want to say it's been great talking to you, and I hope that you're going to be able to get um, get a good microphone soon in house. Yeah, I need to go. Yeah. Bye bye. Um, and like I said before, man, it's uh, open house here. You can f fly. Oh, you can fly yeah. over the Atlantic and come visit oh. me anytime. And the air airplane tickets won't be that that bad. And if you need a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, then uh, you know, uh, let me know, man. I'll help you out. So uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Duration, but yeah, money yeah. is definitely a big one. Like I said before. Yeah, take that, take that in, that take stuff. that into consideration, and then we can check out, you know, how much you know, those airplane tickets is. Because who knows, man? Maybe we could do a live podcast in my house, and we yeah, could find. Yeah, big things. Uh, I'm have to yeah. Soon, uh, later, too. Yeah. Yeah. Either. Yeah, and I remember that teeth thing. And, you know, and I also have that bottle here, you know, that the two of us could crack. Yeah, well, is it, uh, and uh, some people, like, I know some people actually do it, is that they actually go, and, like, they go down to, like, Mexico, get, like, be a dentist, or a doc or just a doctor. Or particularly, I know one thing that's huge, going down yeah. to Mexico to get abortion. Yeah, well, people do that do that here too. Like people, some some people go to uh, um, Eastern Europe to get their dental work done. I go to. Oh, like, uh, well, I say like uh, bigger things. Like for example, I also go to uh, again yeah, doctor or just medical care in general because huge the amount of discrepancy of what you have to pay, or there's some or it's really bullshit. Like for example, I remember John Oliver. As much as I hate him, he did a good coverage of a. Uh, abortions like you should look up like john oliver abortions like such a bullshit joke like christians are so anti-life pro-child abuse and whatnot like they want fucking like like even like it's hard to even like a place is allows you to have abortions like you can't have abortions i remember like one example they did they covered yeah, I, I think I think I think I saw it. It was like examples from Alabama and such for if a woman was raped, no, and like then uh, and then if the, well, yeah, pregnant. yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, but if the if the woman got raped and then got pregnant from it, then she was not allowed to uh, by state law to get an abortion. No, or even if you could get an abortion, couldn't um, yeah, because even if it was legal. Technically, they they you couldn't find an abortion place because they would keep trying to fuck it over, so they wouldn't be able. Like you should watch the video. Like it's so bogus. It's all true. I'll uh, send it to me. You know, places get away with being like an abortion place scam. Well, just send it to me and I'll uh, check it out. 
And then again, I want to say like thank you for 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 being on my show today, Victor. It's been great as always, and I look forward to having you on the show again once you get a new microphone. Um, and take care and have a nice evening. Well, yeah, I'm gonna probably go watch a video here. All right, man. Thanks for coming.